Hello, my name is Devin Mogg. I hope to share with you today a powerful prophetic message which will bring an anointing straight from heaven upon your ministry, family and life. We live in a confusing world, a world so full of sin and falsehood that it may even put Sodom and Gomorrah to shame. Humanity appears to be in open rebellion against God and His Word. In the modern world we live in, believers are in the minority. Many are too frightened to share their faith or even declare it openly for fear of being looked upon as backwards, uncultured or even medieval. News stories of religious fanatics do not help the situation and even though most of these extremists are from a different faith, the secular world has lumped all religions together. We are all familiar with the new aged atheist. People like Richard Dawkins are at the head of a new global religion which is evangelizing like no other. For the first time in history, atheists are converting people to their perverse cause. They seek a world devoid of meaning and love, a world where humanity is just another animal. Believers may feel overwhelmed and even unequipped to deal with the accusations and claims of the new evangelizing atheist. They too may feel it hopeless to prove the relevance of an ancient book in a world that wishes to relegate it to a dusty existence on an even dustier bookshelf. So, how does a believer react to accusations of it is just as likely that there's a flying spaghetti monster out there as an all-powerful being created and controlled the world? And why should we listen to a book which has no relevance in the modern world? Well, the flying spaghetti monster never gave us a book with claims that can be objectively put to the test. God, however, gave us a testimony that stands the test of time. So what is the proof that there is a God? That the Bible is true? Do we even have such evidence? We have undeniable evidence of the validity of our scripture and faith. Brothers and sisters, I would ask you to please turn to Isaiah chapter 66 verse 8. Who has heard of such things? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. A nice piece of biblical literature perhaps. But what does it have to do with our question? How can this possibly be relevant in the 21st century? Well, my brothers and sisters, this prophecy was fulfilled on the 14th of May, 1948. On that momentous day, Biblical prophecy made 2,700 years ago came true when the state of Israel was declared. Here is solid, concrete proof that you can see and touch. Even the disciple Thomas would be satisfied. For the first time in nearly 2,000 years, the ancient people of Israel had their own independent country in their ancient homeland of biblical Israel. After 2,000 years of exile and wandering, they had returned home, thus fulfilling this prophecy. If that was not enough, Isaiah 27 6, in days to come, Jacob will take root, Israel will bud and blossom, and fill the entire world with fruit. Surely the children of Jacob, who was also known as Israel, have returned to their country and the land which was once a barren desert now blossoms and believe it or not my brothers and sisters Israel is one of the largest exporters of fruit in the world and many of the oranges that we eat are grown in the area around the Israeli city of Tel Aviv imagine that the fruit sitting in your fridge as we speak is a fulfillment of biblical prophecy